What to get a 13-yo boy to help pass time in the hospital? My 13M cousin is in a hospital with brain cancer and I want to get him something to help pass time. In the hospital while he's waiting for surgery scheduled for next week but not a sure thing yet? He's got horrible headaches I don't think he'll have the energy for Legos or something like that. And I don't really know what else to give him I am 23F. His mother's birthday is also in a few days and I also want to get something for her. Maybe like a book. Or a coloring book to help pass the time. Please help. Update thank you all for all the suggestions I forgot to mention were from Europe and he doesn't speak or understand English that well yet. So unless I can find audiobooks in our language, that's not really going to work. I am going shopping tomorrow and he'll update you on what I buy and if he's happy. But I kinda decided on board or card game for all three of them to play cousin and his parents. Smaller and easier Lego set. Kinetic sand and a puzzle or something similar. I'll try to find my old PSP and charger and also some of my old comics. Some other miscellaneous things to occupy him. Whatever grabs my eye. I also have a Disney and HBG Go accounts that I'll share with all of them if they have a computer. And don't have their own subscriptions. I have to ask. If he can't concentrate for long periods of time without spending a lot of energy. Maybe audiobooks would be a easy way to explore some fun stories without a lot of effort. Maybe some sensory stuff? Kinetic sand. Slime. Etc. Honestly not sure what hospitals allow so this may be completely useless. Wishing all the best for your cousin. Such a strong lad. 3. As someone who spent time in a hospital due to chemo treatments I got lucky and brought my PS4 so. I'd say something to let them talk to friends and watch movies. A Nintendo Switch is an excellent game console, if it's within your budget. Weird one but maybe a coloring book you can get adult ones which are more interesting. My sister aged 16 found that activity quite good as it kept her hands busy but wasn't mentally taxing. Maybe shape-shifting boxes or fidget spinners. I feel like maybe providing 3-4 items to keep busy might be better than one expensive item. Maybe a how to book on origami and some fun papers for it. Someone else suggested an inexpensive tablet and that's a great idea. He'll have access to audiobooks or podcasts as well as regular books and YouTube. Lego sets. It's easy to set aside and something they can do with others for quality time. I don't know the budget but here are some options a switch. Some kind of craft thing that can be started and stop easily. Some metal puzzles. Putty kit. Variety puzzle book. Or ask him. Along with audiobooks and such that other people have suggested. Maybe Mad Libs? It might be a fun thing for him to do with his parents or anyone visiting him. Plus he can keep his favorite stories and reread them if he wants a laugh. A deck of cards can be pretty fun too. Maybe some board games for him to play with people as well? I imagine his parents are spending a lot of time with him. So I'm sure they would all enjoy doing something a little more light-hearted together. Buy a 3DS and hack it. It's very easy to do and you can give him Pokemon. Mario. Sonic. Countless amount of games your son most likely would like. A Kindle is great because you can read or listen to audiobooks or watch YouTube and videos. Etc. Set it up with apps. A comic? Maybe some thriller manga? Non-magnetic fidget toys. Think squishy toys. Those cube folding fidgety toys are the poppet ones. The other thing is those toys where you press your hand or in a kid's case. Their face lol and it causes an impression or similar type things. Moving liquid sand art while soothing also be very fun visually.
Depending on where you are located most of these can be found in a Walmart or Target. Wishing him a speedy recovery. Get him books like Call of the Wild, Harry Potter, etc. Easy to read. And he can fantasize the pain away. It truly brings you to another realm when you read those books as a child. A smartphone. When I was in the hospital with a brain injury as a kid, they had an N64 in my room and it was the greatest thing ever. I couldn't focus super hard, but it made me forget what I was going through for a lot of the time. I feel so horrible for this child and couldn't imagine the feeling you must have. But good on you for trying to make things a bit easier for him. I'm late to the party here. But ISTG the card game skip bow slap sign 24F. My sister and our mom all love it. I can't remember the name of them. But there's the swishy little toys they sell at Walgreens where the gimmick is you throw them at. The ceiling they stick fall back down. Maybe those would be a fun stimulating thing for him to do? Sending good wishes his way for a speedy recovery. Rubik's Cube. He can set it down anytime he is tired. And when he picks it up again, the game hasn't progressed without him. Fast dry clay. Go to craft store and see what they have. He can make small figurines and maybe even paint? Non-toxic of course. There is an older memory toy called Simon. It plays tones and adds a tone each time you get it right. It costs under $20 for the full size but the mini for under $10 would be great. Best wishes coming your way. A Nintendo Switch with Animal Crossing. What else? Stizzy Live Resin Pods. Naughty Magazines? If he has a laptop or something, maybe you could download him some stuff to watch? When I was in hospital, I spent most of my time watching videos because I was too tired for anything else. May not be applicable if he already has good internet in there. Though, I think a simple coloring book and a small pack of colored pencils is also a nice idea. Bring it in a little bag so that there's something to keep it in if his table is getting too full. Could you get him some movies? Maybe to watch on tablet. It might help distract his attention from the headaches. Maybe for a 13-year-old you could download the entire Marvel series. Does he have Wi-Fi or a cell phone? Helping him connect to some of his friends so he can chat e.g. Discord. Texting. Etc. It may be more about coordinating for him than needing to purchase anything. If they are not already connected. Is he into any video series? Me and my son went through Adventure Time and all the Dragon Ball Z movies when I spent a week with him in the hospital. He remembers it very fondly. Fingerboards Tech Deck They are an awesome substitute when you can go outside to skateboard. Audiobooks. Something to listen to music on. A recorder to make record a diary and thoughts. Maybe some pencils and paper for when he does have a bit of energy. Or a tablet so that he can watch videos and relax. Maybe stuffed animals and some coloring books. Just be mindful that they have to be brand spanking new so if I were you I'd order some off of. Amazon. I would have recommended Minecraft but he appears to have too many headaches. 3D Puzzle Toys, I am 37 and would be thrilled. A Steam Deck with games in it, or a Nintendo Switch. Maybe a video game console? If he already has one they make portable screens meant for travel at GameStop which he can plug his existing console into and play in bed. Movies and a laptop are great or something to watch Netflix. As someone who had cancer. Albeit a lot later in my teens. The one thing I appreciated was something to watch do with the people that came to visit. Also maybe bring some friends over if he's okay with it to visit. Snacks? I know Audible is available in German. I imagine it might be in other languages as well.